We are set. This is a patient team at the plate in the first pitch. Probably the most consistent Florida starter the second half of the season in the opener against AM. Two and a third innings, four hits. Laviolette's going to try this thing. We'll see right away his ability to move that right hamstring strain. It is tightly wrapped. He's got one hit so far with four strikeouts. No strikes on the delivery. 3 0 for the Aggies. Full count. Three and two. We go heat again. 51% swing and miss rate. Will he go with it? He does, but it's outside. Hurt his hamstring the other night. Calm him down a little bit. Carl, that hamstring is heavily wrapped, but they've also created almost an artificial hamstring with tape and elastic. Oh, no. Coach Kevin O'Sullivan coming out. Two on, nobody out. Jackson Appel. That's another ball. Ball seven count for every ball he throws. Gets the strike call to sit him down and quiet him down. Shelton shaded towards second position on the 2 1. Pretty much saying take. Swing and a miss. That's the best pitch he's had tonight. 96 by the three hole hitter. And I say this understanding that there is, it is a 2 and 2 count. 336. 2 and 0. Oh, big pitch on the way to the DH between 94 and 97 and didn't get the call at the knees. No, he missed there. Badly up. Ready on a 1-0. We'll see how Laviolette can run. 2-1. Bases loaded. And he missed. Ball four. That's four walks. If you're the Gators, you're, you're going to need some length here out of Fisher Jamison. And he can give you that. Right hander's been outstanding for him this year. Kyle just gave you. Secure one. One, two. Laviolette. Let's see this hamstring. He's ready. Here he comes. And he is able to score very easily. He's been their leader offensively. The sophomore, Jason Laviolette, needs to continue to swing the bat well for the Aggies. Base is loaded. He hasn't given up a hit. Way inside. On the ground, in the hole. Shelton will go to third. And they got him. I tell you what, he was outstanding his last time out for AM. Justin Lampkin pitched the opener against his Florida team. Three innings, one hit. Watching great baseball players like that guy right there as Jack Caglione would lead things off. Three infielders on the right side. Kent says, I got it. He's ready on an 0-2. Good start. Pulled the string, the change piece at 83. We've seen that one before already in this College World Series with that change up. Will he go with it again? Breaking pitch instead. He strikes him out. Couple of strikeouts of Curland and Shelnut. An awfully impressive performance by Lampkin. Top of the first, and that led to a pitching change right up the middle and right where the shift was. Welcome to the game, Fisher Jamison. His first strikeout. 6'5", 240, delivers over the top. That is the hard hit ball we just talked about. That gets through. He'll take a wide turn. He's going for two. Here's the throw tag put down. Out at second. Right away, Grahovac says, let's review that one, and we'll see if they will. Aggressive base running by Grahovac. Ripped, and that one is towards the corner. La Violette. He's not going to get there. Here's your answer. Here's yep. the answer on the leg. Couldn't go and get it. And that's going to be a double for Shelton. And that's the impact of the hamstring. 0-1 oh, to Heyman. <laughs> Called strike three. Lampkin, good battle there. And Heyman takes a seat. Third strikeout. Five batters for Justin Lampkin. And he's shaking his head saying that wasn't a strike. Wilson on the 0-1. Here on an 0-2. Fastball. Another one of those in the zone whiffs four strikeouts. His stuff obviously plays. I mean, the issue this year for Lampkin has just been, can he throw enough strikes? Thomas. Thomas on the 0-2. Piece of one on a 1-2. With all his foul balls. Good but good. not there. He's gone. Well, let's just take it easy on the way to first. Shellnut. Down on a 3-2. 1-2, looking for his fourth strikeout in a row. And he got it. They struck out 23 batters, and they've been very stingy. They're batting against them. It's 185. No. That misses. 40. 
And this time he'll beat it the other way. What a good job of hitting this. Nobody on that side. Robertson holds. Cagli owns it first. A&M hasn't lost. Florida's fighting back. Florida's been fighting back for most of this season. Catcher's glove. Curlin off the glove, and that's going to end up being an infield hit right off of Lampkin's glove. Florida was one of the last teams in. 28-27 coming into the NCAA tournament. They've been on the road ever, to, ever since. One to Stillwater Regional. Loaded for Shelman. 1-1. Shelman swings and misses. Another strikeout. Justin Lampkin has seven. Not a great day for Shelman. First game, he struck out three times. Did get a bunt hit. That was the play that Laviolette couldn't make. This time he pops it up behind third. Grohovac says he's got it, then it gives way to the shortstop. And Camarillo, a sliding grab. Grab a lead. This ball is lifted to left center field. Going back, Robertson still going back. He makes the running catch. Tell you what, we've seen some athletes here in this College World Series this year in the outfield. An eating component for me. <laughs> I know you do it well. <laughs> On the ground, Shelton. First time up, and he's gone again. Lampkin has got eight strikeouts. And the impressive part is he's also doing that with the fastball. How about that? Eight strikeouts tonight, most in a men's College World Series game in AM history. One, two, beaten in the ground, charging it to shortstop. Camarillo. Ooh, got him. That ball laced right at the shortstop. SEC dominance in the last six College World Series. Florida, Vandy, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, LSU. 2-2, two, two. that one is smoked down the line, and that is going to go to the wall for Kent. He slides in, that's a double for Kent to lead off the fifth inning. Montgomery went down, they needed an extra body. Hey. Chestnut does have a dozen of them, and he in the bullpen. Any extra run feels big, and a strikeout of the nine hitter Chestnut. That feels big right there, too. Fisher Jamison, leadoff man, reaches. Got a chance to change it on a 1 0, and he swings and drives this one to left center, and it is deep. Robertson going back, won't get there. Bounces over the wall. That is a ground rule double, and that will plate Caden Kent. Bunch of things to make sure he could play tonight. A 2 2. Now I think it's no. the two hole hitter. They got one in already. Here it comes. Hanging. Breaking ball called strike three. How about this one straight over the top. You give up on it. See that dot right there? That's the top part of the zone. Oh, two to oh. a pell runner goes. There's nobody covering third. That's a straight steal. Foul ball and not a foul ball dropped by the catcher and that is strike three one and two he's got eight strikeouts he's got nine what a performance from Justin Lampkin it's on repeat but he has been filthy all night long back foot slider right there Eddie yeah fielders and three on the right side of the infield it's going to be a tough play there's a race to first Lampkin well got the foot down and oh. Caglione retired. We saw him earlier today. He's pitching again, the freshman out of Coral Springs, Florida. For Clemente on a 3 2. Fastball driven, left center field. Shellnut going over, makes a nice running catch. In the afternoon game, Tennessee exploded. We congratulate the Vols on their trip to the College World Series Championship Series. And when you bring Neely in right here, I think the assumption is you want him to take you home. 3-2, that ball is smoked to right center field. And it is gone! Caden Sorrell turned one around, and off the invincible Neely makes it five to nothing. Sorrell, freshman. Boy, can this kid hit. He's gonna be a big part of their future. That's the 11th home run of Sorrell's. Young collegiate career fastball up. There is one of the better players in college baseball out for the season with an ankle. Third time in a row he's been in Omaha. The way that Lampkin started and the bullpen piece is still available. Tailing away from Robertson. He's chasing. Oh, what a play. And in eight innings against Florida in two starts, four hits, no runs. And now you turn it over to Chris Cortez on his mind. Now it's a business trip to 100. 
There you go. Said you. Oh. Just you up. You like what he saw at Bluebell Park? Saw oh, the sun. Okay. Let's see the meeting, and now a 2-0. Oh, he couldn't locate a 3-0 pitch. The Aggies need Stewart to be outstanding, and a ground ball to first, smothered late by Burton. He will go to the bag. And he chased one way off the plate. What a pitch. What a job for Josh Stewart coming out of that bullpen. Guys on first and second, nobody out, gets the ground ball to the right side for the first out. And a 1 2 count goes to that slider, which he does often. 0 oh 2, working quickly, gets him to chase a slider away. Josh Stewart exit stage left. He bails out Cortez. Doused the Flames. Time again. And a hit by pitch series as Neely fires, runner goes back up the middle, no play at second. Curlin will go to first. Runner goes to third, they'll throw down on a hop. Did he hold the bag? Oof, let her high fastball, tough pitch, yep. and a punch out for Neely. His ability to throw that two seamer, I mean, kind of a front door two seamer, so started in and off the plate. The one two. See you later. He got him. Third strike out of the night for Donay. 12th of the game by Florida hitters. See you, pizza. Should have stuck the pancakes. <laughs> What's the state? Robertson hasn't struck out yet, and he does now. All had two losses. They're gone. Kentucky's been eliminated, and right now, on the verge of elimination, Florida, they've got to get some runs. Three for Florida. Filthy slider there, and Neely now seems to be locked in himself. That's the third strikeout in a row. Mm. Wicked. Another strikeout. Four in a row for Neely. Oh, one. Another one hit hard. Caglione's got plenty of time, and he will flip to Neely, and that back, will do it. Back. You go into the finals unbeaten. Vanderbilt in 15, they lost. And then it was UCLA, Arizona, and South Carolina all won. What may be the last at bat in the storied career of Jack Caglione? Man who's hitting 416 on the season with runners on 457. Against Josh Stewart. Goes down. Oh, oh, boy. Base. Fastball beaten into the ground. He's going to beat that out. Christian Moore, if you haven't seen him, looks like the most polished college player ever. He's been great for Tennessee. Just a tick above him. One, two. No, it's out. Oshenbeck. He's got a 2 2 count on Curland. 2 2. In the dirt gets away. Curland. And that is smoked. Foul. Oh. One and one. For this one, drifts back and makes the play. And Caglione will tag long balls on the season. Right near the foul line, makes the play. Strike three. Headlines, we had three walk-offs. First time at the Men's College World Series, like in the first day and a half, it was unbelievable. And this ball driven deep to right. Wilson going back, still going back. He is off the wall, and he's dazed. He finds the ball heading to third, Camarillo. Looks like it might be Jalen Guy. Yep. Georgia won their national championship over Oklahoma State in 1990. That was the SEC's first baseball championship to watch it. The 1-0, this ball fair down the line. Caden Kent's having a night with that bat. He's been terrific. He drives in the sixth run for the Aggies. Kent fakes and goes, and there's a strikeout. That's an arm you want to preserve. Until the moment actually arrives, and when it arrives, they'll be able to have that opportunity. And we will go to the bottom of the ninth. And that's charged by Bell. No, it's up. On the ground, could be two, could end the game, and it will. AM on to the College World Series finals to take on Tennessee. We will have a first time College World Series champion at the end of this year. It'll either be Tennessee or Texas AM.